This vehicle is the Churchill 1. This is a British Tier 5 heavy tank, and the map is Sand River in the home front game mode. I am going to get 11,656 damage in this game. I'm going to get 20 kills, and I'm going to do 4,485 spotting damage. In addition, we're going to get to see the after game stats. So as soon as this is over, we're going to see... Uh, the after game stats using Watt Replay Analyzer. Uh, this is uh, the home front game mode from uh, August of 2019. And the enemy team is bots. They are not human players. And we're going to lose this game, unfortunately. So we got a lot of enemy tanks in the south uh, that we got to worry about. Uh, you'll notice that even though they're outside of the yellow circle, I can still fire at them. But you do got to be extra careful because you're not going to be able to use the auto-aim so much. And you're going to have to aim in a lot more accurately and you're going to have to lead your shots a lot better. Even though I'm going to be hitting these tanks, you're going to be able to see uh, that I'm going to be just barely hitting them. That was obviously an example where I was aiming for the vehicle in front and I hit the vehicle behind him. You can see I'm not giving enough lead time on those tanks because I'm just not used to shooting so far away. It's very important when you play this game to get the uh, ammo of those little yellow flags. You want those APCR rounds. If you get those APCR rounds, the game's going to be a lot easier. Uh, this was before I learned all the strategic positions on the maps. So I'm not playing the strategic position, which is the A7 area, uh, where you're going to see me playing it in the later games. And I play it in random battles. It's a great position. It's hull down. You get a great view. You can spot further away. See if that uh, that airstrike didn't do anything. Even though they're bots, they're pretty good players. You can see I'm showing him my side armor, which is a very wise move. Yeah, I took him out of the game. So I got 816 damage in the first wave. Or is this a second wave? We're on the second wave. So usually I have to finish up in the north and then I gotta head south to help my team in the south. And I really do pull my weight. I wasn't the number one for damage in every game, but often I was. And if I had another good player on my team, we really dominated. It was a very difficult game, and if you watch the other streamers, they'll all tell you, even the most popular streamers and the best players, they all thought that the game was very difficult. Uh, you're going to get to see my wins and losses uh, after this game is over. I believe I played uh, 50 games, and I'm going to be able to show you the replays for about 35 games. Uh, some of the games I'm working on Getting. There's a bug with the Watt Replay Analyzer. I've already contacted the developer. He already fixed one of the bugs, uh, but there's still another bug that needs to be fixed. So there's going to be some replays missing. So you can see that there was a bombing run. You do want to get far outside that red circle. I have been damaged before when I was too close to the red circle because there is a burst radius. Constantly reminding my team to get those flags. Those ammo drops. So I took that vehicle out using the airstrike. I am going to get three vehicles with one shot in this game. It's going to happen a little bit later in the game. It obviously did not already happen. <laughs> and it's not happening right now. <laughs>
Yeah, you can see we only got that M5 in the south. He actually did pretty good in the south. Uh, he, he didn't completely abandon the team. Wow, two lucky shots in a row. That's obviously a case where I would use the auto aim because he wasn't moving very fast. Because I have high ping time, I have to use the auto aim. Otherwise, the shots go all over the place. We all are on our first spawn, so we haven't respawned yet. This is our fourth wave. We're going to go up against Panthers. We're going to need those APCR rounds. Now remember, this airstrike only stuns the enemy. It doesn't really do a lot of damage. You want to maximize your DPM. You want to drop it down as frequently as possible. And definitely try to track those vehicles. Wow, look at all that damage. I'd like to rewind and show that again more clearly, but unfortunately, my game crashes too much when I rewind. The amount of ammo I have is enough for around three or 4,000 damage, which means I'm gonna have to continue resupplying. Uh, again, I am going to get 11,656 damage in this game. Looks like we're going to take out these Panthers. Okay, so we're almost halfway through. We're all on our first spawn. None of us have died yet. Going to go get that ammo. I do have to get outside of the bombing circle, the target area. Oh, you know what? I never would have made it because I would I would have entered the other targeting area. What the hell is that noise? Hold on a second. There's another video playing or something. What the hell is that noise? Oh, I know what it is. I'm sorry. Okay. That was the Twitch stream is what it was. <gasps> Look at all those tanks we got to go after. So I'm respawning with a Sherman 3. Doesn't have APCR rounds, but it's got that mobility. And I do really well when I have mobility. I chase the enemy down. Look at that beautiful shot, only 157 damage. Don't want to get in front of my ally. Don't want to block his shot. Think it's going to be a good shot. Nope. I'm going to ammo. I don't know if it's this game or not. I've seen so many of these replays today. But I am going to get some ammo racks on some stugs. You see that M5 steward in the south? He's got a lot of ally. He's got a lot of enemy tanks. And we've only got this one vehicle in the north. So we called it wrong. We really should have had better situational awareness. And we should have had south sooner and the m5 was just taken out of the game by the tin man i am continuing to head south because i do chase down those enemy targets i do make the effort i don't think i'm going to get them We did lose four shields. We're halfway through the game. And there were only two of us that died, and we're still on relatively full health. Because the M8A1 just respawned, we want to 
pick up the ammo flags because uh, he's going to need ammo. I've only got 31 rounds. It's not a lot. Now, remember, this is home front. I'm not playing my own tank. Oh, this is it. This is it. That's the triple kill. Yeah, look at that. I got a triple kill right here. Okay, I'm going to rewind. I'm going to take a chance with rewinding. So as I was saying, these are not our own vehicles. So what that means is that we can't pick our own crew and we can't pick our own equipment or modules or anything like that. Yeah, look at all that. Well, unfortunately, it looks like by rewinding it ruined uh, some of the game effects. That's too bad. Could this be it? Could this be the ammo rack? You know what I think it was? Yeah, I ammo racked him on that shot. I'm definitely not going to re-record this, and the reason why is because this is already the second recording, the first one I screwed up. And it takes a long time. You know, they're like 30-minute games. I'm not going to go back and re-record it. So we're just going to have to suffer through. Oh, you can't see. You know, I'm going to try something real quick. We're going to go to the settings. Try again, go to settings, graphics. Okay, so that's not going to work. No, no mini map. There is a position that's right in front of me. Maybe I'm going to go there right now. And you're going to get to see the position. It's a really powerful position, and I played it successfully in a lot of my games where I did a lot more damage. My highest damage game is around 22,000 damage, 22 kills. We're going to see after the game, you're going to see... Uh, the statistics with that replay. Okay, I'm going to try one more thing. If I hit this key, uh, I guess it, that did not work. Man, this sucks. Now I don't know how fast the game is going. I'm assuming this is the regular speed. We might be in fast motion. They look slow, don't they? Yeah, that's slow. That's got to be half speed. And it looks like the timer is the game timer is not counting down anymore. So this looks like the point where I decided to go up here. I could have sworn when I went up here, I only had like 11 hit points left. Maybe when I respawn, it's going to fix the graphics. Don't worry, it's going to be very soon. I'm going to die real soon. Yeah, that's it. Does that look too fast? 
No, it didn't fix it. Get all those enemy tanks out there. Not a great angle. Let's see if I adjust my angle. You see how I'm turning my tank? Well, it looks like I was just turning to get closer to him. Because I love him. We're actually pre doing pretty good for respawns. Only two of us uh, were taken out of the game. Actually, you know what? These values are no longer accurate. I'm not playing in the Sherman 3 anymore. Uh, so it's obviously not updating. That's interesting. They're firing APCR rounds at me. You know what? I'm guessing that the damage is also not updating. Again, going to do 11,000. Okay, so th this, I don't know. There's something wrong with this replay. So we're going to go and see the finals <laughs> totals. Okay, these, this is the replay right here, the one that's highlighted. You can see I did 20 kills, 11,656 damage, 4,485 um, assisted damage. This up here, the 21,000, this was my best game. There's a few replays missing. I did a lot of, of damage way up here. Let's see if we can pull up the details for those of you who want to see. I'm going to do show details. And... I am going to go to here and here and here, and we can see the details. Okay, so damage dealt 11,656. The combat reserves was 2,600, so around 20% or more of my damage was from doing the airstrikes. See if there's anything else interesting here. Damage dealt with primary turret, tanks destroyed with primary turret. It says four, I thought I got 20 kills. It says over here, it says destroyed 20. And I hit 43 tanks and I spotted 10. Okay, so, that's the game. If you have any questions or comments, please post below.